In this video, we'll express a vector as an algebraic vector. It's from page 166, question 6c. We're told that the vector w has a magnitude of 16 and is at an angle to the x-axis of 190 degrees. So we start with a sketch. And knowing that it's 90 degrees through each quadrant, we know that 190 degrees will take us 90, 180 into quadrant 3. We furthermore know that since this is 90 and this is 180, we're left with 10 degrees to the x-axis in quadrant 3. And there's our diagram. We can label this vector, vector w. So we've got our diagram in the quadrant. Now we're going to solve for each component. That is, there's going to be a component. We'll call that component horizontally component a vector and a component vertically and that component will be the b vector. So we've got this triangle. Let's redraw it as just a single triangle over here. And it's a right angle triangle with 10 degrees here. This is the w vector, but we know its magnitude. We're told it's 16 degrees. So we want to solve for the magnitude of the a vector and the magnitude of the b vector. Well, since we're looking at 10 degrees here, we know that we can use SOHCAHTOA on that 10 degrees. Let's start with the A. The A is the adjacent side to 10 degrees. The 16 is hypotenuse. Since we're using adjacent hypotenuse, that's cosine. The cosine of 10 degrees is vector A's magnitude over 16. So vector A's magnitude is just going to be, pull up my trusty calculator, 16 times cosine of 10, make sure my calculator is in degrees, and I get, say 15, we'll round to one decimal place, 15.8 degrees approximately, no units given, so we're okay with that. And then we want to do the same thing for vector B, since it's opposite 10 degrees, and we're working still with hypotenuse, that's opposite hypotenuse, we're going to do the sine of 10 degrees, which is opposite, or the magnitude of vector B, over 16. So the magnitude of vector b in this case is 16 times the sine of 10 degrees which is 2.8. So we've got our two numbers therefore we can express this w vector which had a magnitude of 16 at a rotation of 190 the algebraic vector is two numbers as a point the first number was this a vector the x number 15.8 and the second number was the y coordinate 2.8 there's one last thing we have to be really careful of not to stop there which is we're down here in quadrant 3 and we should remember that this x is actually going negative which means we actually went left or negative on the x-axis and then we also went down or negative on the y-axis so actually this point which represents this vector or this algebraic vector which takes us to this point or you can think of it as an algebraic vector is negative 15.8 comma negative 2.8